Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Hello and welcome to the RenewEnergy.com YouTube channel, where we explore the most exciting and groundbreaking topics in the world of renewable energy and sustainability. If you're passionate about creating a more sustainable future, you're in the right place. Introducing today's topic, the future of hydrogen and sustainable energy. One of the most promising frontiers in renewable energy today is the use of hydrogen as a clean fuel source. However, the methods used to produce hydrogen can vary significantly in their sustainability. That's why today, we are diving deep into the world of biohydrogen, focusing particularly on two fascinating biological methods, dark fermentation and photofermentation. In this video, we'll compare these two methods across multiple dimensions, efficiency, economics, and environmental impact, to help you understand which might be the most viable option for sustainable hydrogen production in the future. So sit back, and let's explore the incredible potential and challenges of biohydrogen production. For a more comprehensive look at this and other topics in renewable energy, don't forget to visit our website, renewenergy.com. The Crucial Role of Hydrogen in Energy Ecosystems Hydrogen isn't just a chemical element, it's a cornerstone for building a sustainable future. As a clean-burning, high-energy fuel, hydrogen has found applications ranging from powering vehicles to serving as an essential component in various industrial processes. But what makes it even more compelling is that its only byproduct is water. The need for green hydrogen production. While hydrogen holds significant promise, the methods traditionally used to produce it often rely on fossil fuels, negating its environmental benefits. Thus, the quest for green, sustainable production methods is not just relevant, it's urgent. A glimpse into biohydrogen, dark fermentation and photofermentation. This is where innovative biohydrogen production methods like dark fermentation and photofermentation come into play. Utilizing specialized bacteria, these methods offer a more eco-friendly avenue for hydrogen production. Dark fermentation employs bacteria that function without the need for light, breaking down organic matter to release hydrogen. Conversely, photofermentation uses light-reliant bacteria to convert organic materials into hydrogen gas. Dark fermentation, an anaerobic approach to hydrogen production. Scientific principles underlying dark fermentation. Dark fermentation stands out as an intriguing method for biohydrogen production primarily because it's an anaerobic process, meaning it occurs in the absence of oxygen. Special types of bacteria, often referred to as fermentative bacteria, are the workhorses behind this method. They break down complex organic matter, such as carbohydrates, proteins, and even waste materials, into simpler compounds, and in the process, release hydrogen gas. This makes dark fermentation especially attractive for waste to energy applications. Advantages and limitations, an analytical perspective. The upside of dark fermentation lies in its efficiency and rapid hydrogen production rates. Unlike photofermentation, it doesn't require light, making it easier to control and less dependent on external conditions. Additionally, it can utilize a wide range of organic feedstocks, including waste materials, further contributing to its sustainability. However, there are limitations as well. One primary challenge is the relatively low yield of hydrogen due to the production of other byproducts like organic acids and alcohols. Furthermore, extensive purification is often required to separate hydrogen from these byproducts, which can add to the operational costs. Real-world applications, case studies in industrial settings. Dark fermentation has started to find its place in various industrial settings, where waste materials are abundant, and the need for sustainable practices is ever-growing. For example, some wastewater treatment plants have adopted dark fermentation processes to convert sewage sludge into hydrogen. Additionally, several pilot projects are underway to harness dark fermentation in agricultural settings, where crop residues can serve as feedstock for hydrogen production. Photofermentation, light-driven hydrogen production. Mechanism of photosynthetic bacteria and hydrogen generation. Photofermentation is an awe-inspiring natural process where photosynthetic bacteria convert organic matter into hydrogen, using light as the primary energy source. Unlike dark fermentation, this method relies on bacteria that contain photosynthetic pigments capable of capturing and converting light energy into chemical energy. When these bacteria consume organic substances, typically waste materials or certain specific carbon sources, they use the captured light energy to break molecular bonds and produce hydrogen as a byproduct. Assessing the advantages and limitations. The method offers some compelling advantages, notably its ability to generate clean, pure hydrogen without the need for subsequent purification steps. The process is typically more environmentally friendly than its counterparts, emitting fewer unwanted byproducts. 
Photofermentation is also synergistic with dark fermentation. The byproducts from dark fermentation can often serve as feedstocks for photofermentation, enhancing overall hydrogen yield. However, it's not without its challenges. The process is slower than dark fermentation and often requires specific environmental conditions like pH levels and light intensity for optimal performance. Furthermore, the range of suitable feedstocks is more limited compared to dark fermentation, making it less versatile for industrial applications. Implementations, Notable Projects and Their Significance Photofermentation is gaining traction in scientific research and pilot projects. For instance, some wastewater treatment facilities are exploring the use of photofermentation to turn waste byproducts into hydrogen. Another exciting avenue is its potential integration into existing renewable energy systems, like solar farms, where the bacteria could potentially utilize surplus light energy to produce hydrogen. Comparative Analysis, Dark Fermentation versus Photofermentation Efficiency Metrics, a Data-Driven Comparison When it comes to efficiency, dark fermentation often outpaces photofermentation in terms of speed. Dark fermentation can rapidly convert a variety of organic materials into hydrogen, even in the absence of light. However, it frequently yields a less pure form of hydrogen, requiring additional purification steps. Photofermentation, on the other hand, is typically slower but can produce a purer form of hydrogen gas, thereby reducing subsequent processing needs. Cost-benefit analysis, economic implications. Economically, dark fermentation can be more cost-effective for scenarios where speed and a wide choice of feedstock are the main considerations. The flexibility to operate under varying conditions and the option to use waste products as feedstock can be economically advantageous. However, the cost savings may be offset by the need for purification and separation processes. Photofermentation, despite its slower speed, might be more economical when considering the costs of purification or when integrated into systems that can supply consistent light energy, such as solar farms. However, the need for specific environmental conditions and the slower processing speed can be economic drawbacks. Environmental Impact, a Life Cycle Assessment From an environmental standpoint, both methods offer more sustainable alternatives to fossil fuel-based hydrogen production. Dark fermentation has the advantage of using a wide range of waste materials as feedstock, thereby contributing to waste reduction. However, the production of other byproducts like organic acids could have environmental disposal implications. Photofermentation, on the other hand, is generally cleaner, producing fewer byproducts and emitting less carbon dioxide. Yet, the need for specific feedstocks and environmental conditions may limit its environmental benefits compared to the more flexible dark fermentation. Sustainability Metrics – Assessing Biohydrogen's Long-Term Viability Biohydrogen's Contribution to Renewable Energy Goals Biohydrogen, derived from methods like dark fermentation and photofermentation, has a vital role to play in achieving long-term renewable energy goals. It can serve as an energy carrier, storage medium, and a fuel for electricity and heat generation, making it a multifaceted player in a renewable energy ecosystem. It has the potential to decarbonize various sectors, from transportation to industry, aligning well with international sustainability goals such as the Paris Agreement. Challenges and Future Prospects, an Industry Outlook While biohydrogen offers significant promise, it also faces several hurdles that need to be overcome for its widespread adoption. One major challenge is the scale-up of production to meet commercial demands. Current methods are still largely experimental and not yet fully optimized for large-scale, economical hydrogen production. Furthermore, the technological complexity and operational requirements can be a barrier to rapid commercialization. On the flip side, the future holds immense possibilities. Ongoing research is geared towards improving the efficiency, scalability, and economic viability of biohydrogen production methods. Initiatives such as the development of hybrid systems that combine dark and photofermentation or the integration of biohydrogen production into existing renewable energy infrastructure offer exciting prospects for the industry. Conclusion, Summation and Future Directions Recapitulation of Key Findings and Their Implications To sum up, both dark fermentation and photofermentation offer intriguing pathways for the sustainable production of hydrogen, a critical component in the renewable energy landscape. While dark fermentation excels in speed and feedstock versatility, photofermentation shines in the purity of the hydrogen produced and the potential for environmental sustainability. Each method has its economic and environmental pros and cons, making them suitable for different applications and scenarios. We find ourselves at a pivotal moment in the transition to sustainable energy, and the role of hydrogen is undeniably crucial. Therefore, it's essential to continue the conversation, engage in research, 
and invest in technologies that can bring us closer to a sustainable future. We invite you to share your thoughts, questions, or insights on this topic. Whether you're an industry professional, a researcher, or someone interested in the future of energy, your perspective is valuable. For comprehensive resources and updates, visit reneenergy.com. For a deep dive into the world of renewable energy and sustainability, including the continuously evolving field of biohydrogen, we invite you to visit reneenergy.com. Thank you for choosing reneenergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at reneenergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.